items. Hi folks, we're back. How does it sound? If you're just tuning in now, welcome to Spicoli's Art Auction, Second Chance with D Live. Uh, my screen is not showing. Yeah, you're gonna want to refresh. refresh. It's a new. All right. Hey guys, can you hear us? Can you hear us now? We are waiting for comments. I'm refreshing my screen. I can see Zach on the screen. I can see you guys. There we are. Hi, Zach. It's what? It's still doing it? All right. All right. We're having a serious problem with the sound, guys. We might have to cut our camera feed and go to our standard auction without the camera feed. And we got to jump into this auction. So we'll perfect how attractive we are in the corner next week. Okay. Let's move on to the auction without the camera feed. Bye, guys. Let's stay here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. whoa. That's good. Yeah, because he took the camera off. Yeah, I, I'm, I unplugged the camera. So, so the camera's messing up our sound, guys. So we're going to move forward with the auction. It's the camera. And we're going to move forward. It. Yep. I just unplugged it. That's when, oh, okay. when the audio went good. Yeah. Yeah, we're talking to our, our tech friend. Yeah, Say sounds... hi, JJ. He's here to help us. But we have unplugged the camera. We're moving forward with this auction. Yep. Okay, guys. We, go. We're learning uh, something new every day. You want to make sure you check in the comments there, Chris? I don't have any comments. Where did they go? We have a couple, actually. Um, you're going to want to go back to the... This is a, a new feed, so it's a new URL. Ah, uh, see how we are? Yep. Yep, this there you one. go. We're learning things. Learning things every day. We're learning things live, and I'm now I'm really glad you can't see me while we're talking about this, guys. Here we go. <laughs> Hi, JJ says Key. Hi, all me. Hi. We sound good? All right. Let's go on to the first item, and then we can babble while we look at art, because we're running out of time. Let's go. Yep. All right. So our first uh, our first piece up for bid is by our good buddy, Justin Pritchard. These next three are by Justin. Um, this is a 12 by 18 print called Introvert. Um, that's the story of my life right there. It, we're starting off the bidding on this guy at $22, um, and it's... Uh, I really like this, pardon me, I really like this one because it's dark and bright at the same time, if that makes sense. It looks kind of like a scarecrow or something. I've pushed the timer. You guys have one minute and 39 seconds to bid $22 on Introvert. 12 by 18 print, printed to cardstock. You can hang this anywhere. You can gift this to your favorite friend. You can frame it. Uh, whatever you'd like to do, you got one minute and 24 seconds left. Also, let us know that you guys are, can hear us just fine in the comments, and we apologize the camera didn't work. We'll keep working just like we are on the live streams towards, if not perfection, then at least high-quality auctions and live streaming. One minute on introvert. And we have some music this week as well. Zach has put together a list of our local artists who have sent us files. If you would like to be featured on our auction in the future, please send your files to playspicolis at gmail.com or send us a Facebook message and we'll give you that email so you can send those files on over and Zach will incorporate them into our auction. You guys are down to only 37 seconds on introvert as you have any of you have been following along in the past, you know that Justin is a good friend of Spicoli's, a good friend of mine, an uh, amazing artist, and he donates all his art proceeds to the museum. So and this is a chance for you to support the museum, get a fine piece of art, support Justin and his art, and give him some love on Facebook as well at Abstract Entity Art. So... Six seconds, Zach. Are you guys ready to go to the next item? Sounds fabulous now. Thank you, Jamie. And thank you, Keith. Um, so, yes, I am... Uh, thank you for thank you for talking for me, Chris. I appreciate that. While well, I was figuring uh, this other stuff out. But, yeah, let's go ahead and move on to the next piece by Justin. Um, this piece is my favorite out of the three of his this week. Uh, this is called Golden Hour. This is the 12 by 18 print. Um, oh, and uh, looks like we already have a bid on this one here with, looks like keys in at $22 um key just to make sure we because we are still fighting lag is this for this is for this one right for golden hour and 
as you guys are following along at home, we have probably about an eight second lag between okay. what we are saying and what you guys are hearing along at home on YouTube. We've attempted Facebook Live for this auction, but we can simply cannot follow along with the comments on Facebook with the share watch parties and those kind of things. So we appreciate you coming along to Facebook, logging or onto YouTube, logging into YouTube, and this one is currently bid on and sold to Key for 22 bucks with one minute left. So if you want to take it from Key, let's see a $23 on this item. $23 can make you holla. No, this is I, I really like this piece, honestly. Um, it looks like a photograph, um, which I really, uh, which I really enjoy. Like it's a, it's a painting, but or it's like a print, but it's it looks like a, like somebody just took a picture of the park, and I really like that. I take pictures like this all the time. This looks a lot like the photos I take, and I absolutely love Justin's work. This yeah. is one I haven't seen in real life. It's one we don't have in the gift shop. So for yeah. you following along at home, this is the first time you guys are seeing this item. And it looks like it's gonna go home with key. You only have 28 seconds left. Okay, and if you guys have been following along, I hope that you came to the gift shop grand opening. If you haven't, just send us a message on the Facebook Messenger and we'll set you up a chance, uh, an appointment to come on through. Oh, it is more than one It's picture. more than one photo, and it's going home with Key in five, four, three, two, one. It belongs to Key. Yes, it does. And we're going on to the next item. And this is sold, and we got, we have a lot of material to go through and not that long a time because we, Chris and I wanted to rock out to Noise from the Garage. That's correct. And we know that y'all want to as well. So let's go ahead and move on. Now... Chris, I think you'll like this one because uh, I know how much you love the band Stoned Crow. I and, do. Um, Justin was telling me when he sent me in this this material, he actually made this print for for that band for like for this their song called Make Believe. Make Believe is one of my favorite songs yes. by Stone Crow. I will say I love the entire album. I can't wait for the second album to come out. And there might be a chance for you guys to see them live in the bunker coming up. Uh, this one has been bid on. Dana, who is one of the Stipoli's team members, has bid $22 on Make Believe, the print by Justin Pritchard. Uh, bid higher. So we're at one minute and for 17 seconds. If you want to take that away from Dana and make her wait for another one another day, uh, Justin and ha has came. This is one of the five photos I'm going to place in the art auction. Okay. He made several for Make Believe. Or for oh, for very or nice. One minute left and it'll go home with Dana. Uh, Justin is very good friends with Daniel Deerfield who is a member of, of Stone Crow. He's the singer. Yep. Um, we're all friends with the guys in that in that band, and we're looking forward to having them come to the bunker and do a live show for us here and for you guys at home as well. 42 seconds left. Um, he did some photos for the video Make Believe, which is fantastic. 23.8. <laughs> So Dana just got outbid by Cody, and Dana outbid Cody at 25 bucks. So we're at 23.8. Now we are at 25. Thank you, Dana. Oh, I just realized that. 21 seconds left. 19 seconds left, and Dana's taking it home for 25 bucks. I just and realized Cody that Cody doesn't it, get to have it. I just realized that said, that doesn't say 23.8. That's just a that's just a happy face. It's a <laughs> happy just, face. Up. Okay, so we have 25 dollars, and Dana gets it in three, three two. two one. All right. And sold. All right. So uh, this one will be staying in the sp staying in the family, as it were, uh, for twenty five dollars, which is awesome. We're gonna go ahead and move on. So we have a new piece from an artist that hasn't been in the auction for a, a couple weeks. This is by Hannah Andreessen. Uh, this is a brand new piece. She like just finished it finished this piece right before um right right before last week's auction and yeah this 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 piece I, I i named it make lemonade one minute and 39 seconds left if you've had a chance to read it then you know the only way to make lemonade is to squeeze the hell out of those lemons we love hannah's work hannah's a graphic designer uh she works at local businesses she has her own facebook page at prickly prince iowa mm -hmm. and the lovely lady kathy who makes some of the toys coming up later 
um, is her mother-in-law. So we love Hannah, we love Kathy, and we love all their work. This is a really inspirational print for your kitchen or your bathroom or your hallway. we got one minute left. Yep, and we're starting the bidding off at $17. This is on cardstock, so it's it's a sturdy, sturdy material. Hey, India made it. And in the comments, our friend India, who is a local artist and concert photographer. And is and, in this auction. And is in this auction. What? That's crazy. Hey, India, I can't wait for you to see it. Uh, Key says hi. Welcome in the comments. Every week we get more and more people following along on our auction. And that's just so vital to supporting our local artists mm -hmm. in our community who do not have art festivals and farmers markets and things to go to this year, unfortunately. Yep, so we are more than happy to bring the art to you. 27 seconds to get some lemonade in your life. If you're decorating with yellow, this is a great addition. It would also be a wonderful gift for someone that you know has been going through some difficult times. Yes, I agree. As we all have been. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nine seconds. And if that is not the case, then we will have Hannah bring, we'll bring this into the auction next week. Um, and then possibly it might show up in our gift shop. Yeah. All right. So, but yeah, I guess we're going to go ahead and move on. Uh, but I really do like this piece. She said that she finished it right, like, I had asked her, like, hey, you have any, any new stuff you want to submit? She's like, actually, I just finished this. And I was like, well, I'm really happy to have it. And it's, it did not disappoint. Really like it. Okay, on to the next item. All right. So, our next piece is by Easton Jenks. We've had a couple of Easton's uh, pieces in our shows in the past. And uh, this one was a is a repeat from obviously not last week because we didn't have a show last week, but uh, the week before. And we have a bid uh, from Justin Pritchard on fifteen dollars. Just in all, uh, I'm a, in case of transparency or how you guys want to put this disclaimer. Easton is my child. Uh, Easton is a sixteen year old. He does he does all kinds of different kinds of art. This is three D modeling art done in Blender. This is fan art of fan art of fan art done in 3D style. Uh, so it's not entirely a original character, but the way he's done it is definitely 100% original art. Um, we have a $15 bid from our friend Justin, who got to see this print in real life when he was here for cool. the gift shop opening and the live stream we did after that. The reason we did not have last week's auction is I lost my voice. And of course, in these trying times, we don't want to ha take any chances of getting anybody oh. sick. I was not sick. It was just a combination of far too much fun had on Saturday, <laughs> talking from roughly noon until midnight straight. Um, as much as I like to talk, and all of you who love me know that that is the case. And screaming during a metal show doesn't help anything either. And it had been six months since I screamed at a metal show, yeah. Zach. <laughs> 29 seconds left, and we're going to move on. This is going to belong to Justin for $15. Uh, our studio audience has grown by one. Alex Larson has walked into the building. Everybody at home say hi, Alex. Okay, 15 seconds. And we, will, we will read their responses to you, sir. Justin has purchased this item. Let's move on. All right. So that is sold to our good buddy, Justin. Thank you so much for your contribution, good sir both in art and in money. Um, so we have a couple new pieces by Easton uh, this week. So Chris, from, right. Chris, from what I understand, these two pieces are like brand, pretty much brand new. These two pieces are brand new. Jamie says hi, Justin says hi, hi Alex. Uh, brand new pieces. Easton has a brand new desktop computer built by our friend JJ who is here tonight and also built the desktop computer that we use for the live streams. So Easton, who has been struggling along on a less than adequate laptop for an extended period of time, is now able to process at a much higher rate um, and uh, has a phenomenal screen with, with great color uh, correction. And Easton through this phantom, phenomenal piece, one minute and 16 seconds left on Rave Girl. It is already printed 11 by 14 on like a poster, on a poster print. Um, it is original. It is original character that Easton made up. Um, I don't know what to tell you. What do you think about this piece there, Zach? I actually do really like this, um, mainly because I like that it doesn't actually use that many colors. It's like a, it looks like it's pretty much a three color piece. 
I guess four if you count the brown hair. But um, the the way that it's shaded is really cool. There's a really cool gradient to it that I, I mean, that I like quite a bit. Um, but uh, I, what I also like is, you know, I would like it even more as if it, it was in your house. Um, <laughs> talking to the fabulous people that could be bidding on this right now. You only have 26 seconds left to bid $15 and take Rave Girl home. You will be the first person to own Rave Girl on this brand new piece of art that was just done in the last week. Taking uh, Rave very, Girl home. Very, very cool. Is... That's a whole other thing. Isn't it, Zach? <laughs> yeah. Zach's like, I want to take a Rave Girl. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if she I might, do. She might hurt me, but it'll be a good best time of my life. <laughs> don't even know what to do with all that. Oh, um, as you might have noticed, this is not selling, and we're going to bring it back next week. Yep. Let's move on to the next item. As we might have noticed, what? Oh, uh, Easton, and this is perfect timing for this next item, is uh, he mentioned to me that his art has gotten increasingly horny hmm. over... Well, he is 16. He is 16, <laughs> and he is on lockdown due to COVID. And Goth Summer Girl, <laughs> Goth Girl Summer is next girl up. Uh, she's looking phenomenal in minimalistic style. This is the first piece of art that Easton did on that brand new desktop computer. So what do you think there, JJ? It's pretty cool. This is only 15 bucks. Easton splits all proceeds equally with the museum. Because he has to, because I'm his mom. <laughs> <laughs> But we do pay him in PayPal, and he does spend it on Patreon for other artists. And how cool is that? Yeah. So we're just spreading that love all over the internet, making sure content creators all over get some uh, little something, something, something. Yeah. I... Those of you at home, what do you think about Goth Girl in the comments, even if you're not buying it in the next 59 seconds or so? What do you think about Goth Girl? Let us know. I really like this. This one looks like a graphic graphic novel or like a like graphic novel style uh, illustration, which I I like a lot. And I love to read graphic novels. I uh, my kids both like graphic novels, and I could I would see this as a cover of a book as well. Oh yeah, I yeah. Can see that. Um, if you cut off the summer part and you just had Goth Girl uh, Murder or something, yeah. and then had it on the shelf at Target, I might pick this up to read. You only got 27 seconds left. $17. Fantastic brand new art by Easton Jenks. Otherwise, we're going to move on here in just a second because we want to speed this up and move on to other items as fast as we can. Yep, definitely. Uh, if, and if, you know, if you know somebody that you think would love this piece but they're not able to log in today, um, we will uh, be bringing this back next week from the looks of things. And so definitely have them uh, jump in, have them log into their Google account, and you know, come hang out with us. Bid on the, bid on the piece. All right, next one up. So this next piece is clothing uh, by our good pal uh, Claudine Sorensen. Um, oh, Jamie just jumped in with 17. Ja Jamie and Justin have now purchased two of Easton's pieces of art. So thank you, Jamie. Uh, I'm super excited about that. Easton will also be thrilled. And I love that you're taking Goth Girl home and that hopefully you can maybe give her as a gift to someone who would really appreciate it. You guys are super fantastic. We are now on to metal as fuck tank tops. These are women's style. They will be made for you. You get to pick the size up to double extra large. It is a metallic, uh, it's black with white slash shiny white metallic right. print on it in the cursive. Um, they're $22. And we do have a few other tank tops Claudine has made in the gift shop. Um, one says punk rock. Um, I can't remember what they all say. Fuck you. I think one of them says fuck you. <laughs> yeah. It's a good thing I'm not worrying about being monetized on this video. Huh, I, have, I have not seen that one. I'm going to have to check that out. I believe it's pink and says fuck you. So, uh, <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> 49 seconds left. And of course, if you guys want to order buy this tank top, Claudine will bust this out for you. And you can pick it up here in the gift shop and get your tour, uh, your very first chance to take a look. So, 30 seconds left. Um, also, give Claudine some love over at Lost Cause Creations. She has been turning out some great art from uh, for us from day one, yes. since our very first auction. Yes. Um, she does candles and t-shirts and signs. We have her shit show signs here was, in the gift shop. I was about to say, she's the makers of our, our famous welcome to the shit show signs 
and we have a couple of those in here. If you did not get a chance to get one during our during our auctions, but you really want one. Uh, but we'll also uh, you know get you a, a tank top if you really want one because we're gonna get moving up. Yep. So just let us know if you need a tank top, and we're moving to the next item. Thank you very much. All right. So we're moving on to the jewelry portion of our uh, show here, and we have a couple pieces by our good friend. Notice how everybody's our everybody's our good friend. Everybody is our good yeah. friend, yeah, including all of you at home. Yes, we would love we we love to. Jamie has just bid on these earrings for eight dollars. Thank you, Jamie. Those are maybe your earrings because there's one minute and thirty seconds for people to outbid you. Uh, and yes, Don helped us move. Don's been a friend of everyone in the music scene for a very, very long time. She's, good uh, she's just such a great human being. He is noticing that there's some 404 in the background yes. of our auction tonight, <laughs> and that makes my heart extremely happy. 404 is, of course, one of our favorite bands. Um, he might just maybe be married to the lead singer of that band. Uh, one minute left on these earrings. They might go home with Jamie. They are metal. They are not heavy, Carmel. Uh, they are relatively lightweight. They're less than an inch long. Uh, they're metallic, or they're metal, and they're iridescent, and they're not heavy at all. I love that word, iridescent. I also love the word iridescent. But yes. uh, and I don't wear earrings, but those are stellar. Well, maybe you could start. This might be the beginning of wearing earrings. <laughs> also, hi, Amber. Welcome. We're super happy you're here. There's 30 seconds left on Dawn's earrings. These are just metal beads. Dawn made those. She donates all the money. Carmel has bid $10. I think we're going to probably mail those off to Carmel um, because there's only 22 seconds left on these earrings. They're very, very fun. They kind of look like little springs. Uh, they're not very long. They kind of remind me of a cocoon, like a yes. butterfly cocoon. I could see that. Yeah, and, and you can see the color come through it, too. It makes you think a butterfly is just going to pop right out of those suckers. Right. Six got, seconds. Yeah. Very Three, long left to go. two, and they belong to you, Carmel. Thank you so much. Nice work. Um, yep, definitely hit us up, and we will get those over to you, however possible. Uh, we're going to go ahead and move on. we got a couple more pieces of earrings, so if you didn't snag those and you want some more, here's your chance. Uh, these are glass and, and metal be uh, bead earrings, um, and... I really like these ones actually. I don't wear earrings. I used to. When I was in elementary school, I actually had an earring in my in my ear. That's um, cool. I was a very adventurous little kid. <laughs> um, I, having seen you rock out to Power Man 5000 in the front row, I have no doubt whatsoever that I, you were badass and I, still are. I wore ear. I wore an earring. I dyed half of my hair blonde one time. It was it was a whole thing. Amber has bid on these wonderful earrings before I can even brag about them. So they are at eight dollars right now. Uh, Amber, I just want you to know that I almost took these home and didn't let them even hit the auction. These are absolutely beautiful. The color doesn't yes. come close to covering them. I took a picture on a piece of printer paper, so I apologize. They're not the best quality of the photo. They just shine in the light. Yes, they so do. So polished, so pretty. The color is a beautiful ocean teal. I just love, love these earrings. I snatched them off the board for the gift shop and put them in the auction. So those of you at home are the first to see them. 50 seconds left if you want to take them away from Aaron. Thank you, Dawn, for your fantastic work as always. These are lovely. They're about an inch long, a little under an inch long. Uh, they hang down from your ear and sh and shine in the sun. Yes. Uh, if you have you know blue or hazel eyes, they'll really bring out the pretty blue and color in your eyes. I just love, love these earrings. So I'm looking forward to mailing them off or having Aaron stop by and pick them, or Amber stop by and pick them up. Um, Amber is also an artist, and we have featured her art, uh, what was it, two weeks ago? And this week. And this week. What? Amber, your art is coming up. <laughs> and you're taking these earrings home because this item is sold. I still need that gavel, Chris. Ah, how do we go? I forget. Yeah, I don't hey, know. Hey, next Amazon purchase is a gavel for Zach. <laughs> it's, it's okay. Next item up. So we went from metal metal earrings to glass earring or to glass and metal earrings, and now we're just on to glass. Uh, we got some cool uh, turquoise or blue and green swirl, um, and uh, 
these, just like the other ones, these ones are starting off at seven dollars. Seven dollars, and yes, Dawn, or yes, Key, I will tell Dawn of your request for iridescent cat earrings. So, Dawn, if you're following along, I will let you know. Yeah. Um, the goth girl was sold to um, Jamie, so I'm guessing Carmen. You could probably talk her into it. Uh, Carmel has bid on these earrings at eight dollars. Sweet. Carmen had lost out for a second, came back. We um, were on the screen, as you guys might have saw earlier. We had to restart and have a, kind of a new video because the camera is too high quality for the computer we're using. It was just shutting us down a little bit, guys. So these earrings at this point are going to Carmel, unless somebody outbids her in the, that person in the next 53 seconds. Uh, they are glass. They are prettier than... Um, they appear in the photo. Uh, they are about half inch long. Um, and again, I picked them out of the gift shop offerings for the grand opening and moved them over to the auction because I personally think they're absolutely gorgeous. Uh, beautiful, beautiful glass earrings. The blue and the gold remind me of the ocean waves. Yes, I agree uh, with that. And I just think that they sparkle and are fantastic. They, they, they look really awesome, actually. Um, like I said, I don't, at this point in time, I don't wear earrings, but these are, I, I know a good piece of art when I see one. <laughs> All right, well, I think they're going to go home with Carmel, and we are going to move on to the next item. And boom. If it seems like we are moving along a little quicker, it's because we are. We're 15 minutes behind, and we're looking forward to tuning in to Noise from the Garage. Noise from the Garage is a radio show on Rock 108 with our friend Alex Larson. It's super awesome. It, Alex takes his own time um, to create a playlist of local and regional bands, and we get to hear some of the bands that we hear at Spicoli's um, and at other venues in Iowa on the radio. Yes. Bands that are unsigned, bands that don't have management pushing to have them on the radio get a chance to hear themselves on the radio, and it's quite Powerful. He really is, um, especially as a as one of those musicians who gets to be played on there every now and again. It's it's real. It's a great opportunity, um, and I love I, go, I love getting to hear my uh, my friends um, and, and yourself. And well, yes, yes. But. Don't be too humble there. <laughs> uh, Zach is also Zachary Daniels of the Zachary Daniels Band, and often we get to hear his uh, one of his singles from the Evolve album on Rock 108, and we enjoy that a great deal. So, uh, while we were babbling, we have used up about a minute on the Skeleton Key Bracelet made by India for $17. India mails these out, guys, lightning fast. So, you buy it, you pay on PayPal, I send some money to India, she gets it out to you in the mail, like, so, so fast. She is a phenomenal artist. Everyone's been happy with her jewelry, her resin work. Uh, she's a good friend of live music musicians all over the state of Iowa and across the country. Uh, Key just commented, she ships so fast, guys, and that is just a fact. She ships lightning fast. Many of the photos that you guys have seen on the Spagoli's Facebook page and website were India concert photos. Uh, she has a great relationship with musicians, uh, national musicians across the country. Gets to go on some phenomenal tours and has taken some just mind-blowing concert photos. So we want to support India. We want you to buy this bracelet. It is only $17, and it can be on your wrist by middle of the week. Yeah. Well, this is actually really cool. I, I, this is actually something I would wear. Then you could buy Well, we're moving on, yep. and maybe you could buy it next week. Yeah, I'll, I'll probably have to look into that. If nobody else snags it first. <laughs> That's okay. Yes, hi, Carmen and Carmel are abstract family members, Justin says, and they are they do more than mean well. They buy art, and we appreciate them yeah. a great deal. You guys are fantastic. Next item up, loving the music theme this week. This is just fantastic. Yep, and this, we're going to be continuing on with that one here um, with our sheet music pendant. So this is also by India, and India's done a really cool thing. Um, I like to... Uh, um, and I think personally, she took actual vintage sheet music and she put it in this resin. Uh, she put it in this resin pendant. So this is real. This is like hundred plus year old sheet music, 
that is being kept in in this uh, in this necklace, and it could be hanging around your neck at you know any time. Um, and uh, so it's it's really cool. I have no idea what music it, it what song it's from, but either way, you could be hanging onto a piece of history around you know around your neck, walking around to the store. Uh, but this is with your mask on, of course. And this is uh, twenty two dollars. <laughs> Apparently, uh, I'm the bomb has played twice and I have it on shuffle it's on shuffle and JJ has bid $22 for the sheet music trending JJ is also J- Jeremiah in the comments is yes Carmel you can buy the skeleton key bracelet we will sell that to you and we are super happy that you've chosen to buy that so we have sold both the skeleton key bracelet and the music pendant at this point to JJ Up, oh, Carmen has outbid JJ and she has bid $23 on the sheet music pendant. We have 29 seconds left. Uh, and that sheet music... Oh, JJ says $25. I believe that that might be a gift. And I wonder if JJ's girlfriend is following along at home. If not, we won't tell her, right, nope. guys? It's a big secret. Lips are sealed. You can just hide it. Give it to her later. 12 seconds <laughs> left. And JJ's going to keep this sucker. 10 seconds. Hey, India, I'm glad you got to follow along tonight. Even yeah. if your computer's not cooperating, you have just sold two items. Next up. All right. We're going to go ahead and move on. So, Carmen, you get to buy... Let's see. Yeah. Carmel, you get the skeleton key. Carmen, you did lose out on the vintage pendant, but JJ gets it, and the next item's up. Yep. So, um... Yep. Um, so our next piece that we have have up here is by our our new friend uh, Marcy Kemp. She runs a page called MK Crafts, um, and we have a couple pieces of hers. This is a I believe it's a necklace anyway. Um, it's either a necklace or a bracelet. That one is. I did not see this in person. I just saw the picture that was in it. This one is a necklace. It is a necklace. That's what I thought. And we have it in the gift shop, and it was hanging. If you did come to the gift shop grand opening, it was hanging in the gift shop, but it didn't sell. So we added it into the auction so we could get a little bit more of a wider audience. Yep. Um, This is a hemp necklace. It is handmade. It does have wood and stone beads. Yes. Uh, And Marcy is just a simply fantastic human being. Yeah, she's really nice. I actually work with her. Oh, I did not know that. See all these weird connections in this small town? I did not know that Marcy worked with Zach. I really like Marcy. I met her when she dropped off art. We hit it right off, and I just think she's fantastic. I love this song. Well, we're glad that you like this song, Amber. I'm also really glad that you guys are having music in the background that I can't hear. Yeah, it, yeah, it's, it's a little weird. It's running through a different file. I can't get it to play. <laughs> That's okay. You got 38 seconds to take home this necklace by Marcy. Marcy also had the uh, succulent in the skeleton potter at the sale. Yeah, Zach. Yeah, and we, and she sold that, which is fantastic. Oh, she did. Oh, she yeah. did. I did not see that. So that's, yeah, that's great to hear. I don't know, we, we really like our artists. They're fantastic. They yeah. made a song that doesn't suck. <laughs> <laughs> 13 seconds. We're going to move on to the next item. Uh, this item is hanging in the gift shop. If you feel more comfortable buying pieces of art like this after you've tried it on, let me know. We'll get you an appointment and yep. move it on. So we have... Uh, we have a couple bracelets uh, here by Marcy. And, um, oh, Jamie was Jamie jumped in a little late on that, so with 25 for the necklace. Okay, Jamie, you definitely can have that necklace. That is, matches the one you already have. Yeah. Um, you're going to have a combination, one for every day of the week. You keep this up. Marcy can make you a whole collection. <laughs> and I love that. So um, if you'd like, Jamie, let me know if you want this bracelet to go with it. 15 bucks? Yeah. Yep, we got, uh... Yeah, this, as, you know, just like the necklace, this one is made from hemp, and it kind of looks like DNA strands. It does look like DNA strands. It has three wood beads. It's very simple. It has a wood bead closure on the little loop. It's beautiful. Um, Yeah, no, Carmen, you did not get the necklace. JJ outbid you. I apologize. That is the joy of an auction. JJ's going to give it to his wonderful girlfriend who is not here this evening. Or maybe he'll wear it himself. Who knows? I hope he wears it himself <laughs> with a tank top. <laughs> it's another story, though. Don't worry about what JJ and I do. 
Don't tell his girlfriend. I'm kidding, kidding, kidding. <laughs> Next item up. That's for Chad, who I hope is following along am, at home, but he isn't bidding. So where not, are you at, Chad? I am now a little worried. <laughs> uh, 57 seconds on this bracelet. It is a very simple, very easy to wear, beautiful handmade neck uh, bracelet. Yes. Uh, MK Crafts. Give her some love on Instagram. Um, yeah. And also on Facebook, if you find our artists, if you can't bid and you're out of money, give them some love. Yes. A little social media love goes a long way. Um, but uh, this piece, we have about 30 seconds left. Um, and it's just starting out at $15. It's actually a... It's... It reminds me, granted it's hemp, so that's probably why, but it reminds me of something you'd wear like to the beach or something. Um, but I think that's because it's hemp, and that's kind of what, that's the, that was the scene hemp was known known in um, back then. But uh, It got, is not selling. We're gonna move well, on to the next item, guys. Three, two, one. My, it is identical. We have another one. Yep. So we're gonna make this a shorter one, guys. You got one minute to bid on this item, so let's do it. Yep, it's pretty much the, you know, just like Chris said, this one is pretty much the exact same or extraordinarily similar to the original one. Um, so we've uh, we got the clock started. So if you missed the first one and you want a bracelet like this, definitely don't squander your chances. You got one minute. One minute left, or let's see, 38 seconds left on this bracelet. It's easy to put on with one hand. It is handmade. It will make a lovely gift for anyone you love. Uh, who wears handmade organic, organic, okay. organic, yeah. organic? <laughs> it's a combination between gigantic and organic. <laughs> it's a little bit confusing. Yeah. But you have 17 seconds left. It is in a gift shop. You may come in and try it on. We really appreciate all of you guys following along at home. Every single auction has grown in size and viewership. Yes. And I'm really proud of everything that has sold. We are going to move on to the next item. All right. So we are moving on to a couple pieces by Kathy Carroll. Uh, Kathy is Hannah Andreessen's mother-in-law, and she has uh, her own business where she makes crocheted stuffed animals and all sorts of other fun crocheted goodies. Um, and we've had we featured her art in a couple of our auctions. This is a giraffe. It's as you can see, it's roughly 15 inches tall. Um, and uh, we're starting the bidding off on this at $30. This is such a beautiful piece. I haven't seen this one in real life yet. Uh, Kathy has been bringing items into the gift shop. We have some cool new flat animals that can be a bookmark yeah, or a novel. Uh, those are really neat, actually. Um, or they can hang in your car. Uh, they're really, really cool. India has just informed us that she will make another sheet music necklace for a future auction and yes india we would love that i think those are yeah. super super cool so let's see if we can't can't do that oh yeah i love that concept i do too um what a great way to reuse and recycle uh music that i would otherwise end up on a shelf and just never really be appreciated right it's such a great idea there is 49 seconds left on this giraffe it is 15 inches tall it's handmade kathy uses the proceeds from crafty cats creations to get wild cats spayed and neutered. Yes. How cool is that, guys? I don't know if you guys are aware, but if you neuter male feral cats and re-release them, it keeps the population of cats down in the area, helps protect those songbirds, um, and it helps keep those baby kittens to a bare minimum, because Lord knows we don't need any more of those. Yeah. Do we? We're pulling a, she's, pull, she's pulling a regular uh, Bob Barker. Yes, Kathy. <laughs> Kathy and Bob Barker, kindred spirits forever. Uh, six seconds left, only $30 for the giraffe. This can make a, yes, it is the person who makes the catnip toys. We're gonna keep the giraffe for next week. Oh, and I got a kitten, as you guys know. Um, and my kitten has a catnip toy and loves it. Nice. Yeah. I need more of those. We'll come on down to the, to the gift shop. We'll, yep. we'll get you set up. Um, <laughs> Sorry. Yep, yep. We got a, and so our next one, we got a crocheted <laughs> chicken. Um, this one is uh, our show is addictive. Thank you, Carmel. It's, oh, we love that. Yeah. We uh, hope that you can see our smiling faces next week as we get our uh, 
technology figured out. Yeah. But uh, we. But until then, we're going to try to sell our chicken. Um, <laughs> Ten-inch chicken. Yeah. You can choke it. You can throw it. You can toss it at Zach. Because if you can see his face right now. Chris, <laughs> Chris, quit talking dirty about our cock, okay? Yes! <laughs> Ultimate! <laughs> Oh, Kathy, I love this chicken. This is awesome. You guys got 40 seconds left to take home this crocheted chicken. It's in a nest. Are you kidding me? This thing is cool as hell. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. Oh. And Kathy makes really good work. I bought a dino corn from her not too long ago. I named it Rudy. Rudy. Um, Rudy. Yep. Yes. And it's... She makes she makes really sturdy work. It um, It's crocheted, but it's solid material. And it... Like, you're... Uh, little kids can play with it no problem. Yep. Um, probably want to keep it away from pets, but uh, granted, you want to keep anything mobile, but like, remotely mobile away from pets. But you guys aren't jumping on the chicken. Yes, uh, you didn't jump on the chicken fast enough. So we're gonna move on to the next item and tell you a little bit more about dino corn. And yes, Key. I did. I did say dino corn. It's a dinosaur with a unicorn's horn. I saw it and I jumped at it. It was it. It just said, Zach, take me home. <laughs> Which is the only time I've ever heard that in my life. So <laughs> <laughs> We're working on that, too. That's all that story. This is a crocheted bunny. It is 12 inches tall. It is $42 because it's extremely complex. It has a dress. Can you believe this? You can hide this for Easter, guys, or put it away for Christmas, or give it to your friend who collects rabbits, or just hug it in your own bed. Or your this friend who is adorable. Or you give it to your friend who's deathly afraid of rabbits and lose a friend for life. But hey, you know. <laughs> or your enemy who's afraid of that's, rabbits. I, I, I meant the enemy. <laughs> that's, that's totally what, that's totally what I meant. Um. Anyway, so this is we're starting off the bidding at forty-two dollars. This is twelve inches tall. So if you stick the ears way up. Um, you got a, you got a foot long rabbit. Um, I have dino corn with PJ pants. pants. When the deer wrecked me, the cops and the tow truck people kept laughing at me in those PJ pants and leather jacket. Well, I'm so, sure you looked bomb, <laughs> India. They were just jealous. Unfortunately, India had a horrific accident due to a deer um, last winter, mm. and uh, fortunately, she was she's okay. And that's well, the only part that matters. Yeah. Um, also, those Dynacore PJ pajamas, that also matters, and I need a photo. Yeah. So, <laughs> India, we're going to have to see them. You guys got 30 seconds left on the rabbit. I have to tell you, we had another unicorn in here that we call Pride. Yes. Uh, it was purchased during Pride Month, has a rainbow hair, um, and is rather tall, and he sits on top of the stack of amps in front of our live streaming stage. Uh, during our last metal show... Pride vibrated and smashed on his face <laughs> oh, off of the stack. I saw and that happen. our friend Sam put him back up. Aww. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Evie, nobody bought the crocheted rabbit. Okay, so we're moving on to the next item. Um, everyone's telling stories and making fun and making friends in the comments, and I love that. Yeah. We are on to... The next item. What do you got here, Zach? Okay, so we are on to our paintings portion of the show. This is our. This, this, we're, we're nearing the end, um, but uh, this is a this is a new piece by Alex the Grief. Alex is still somewhat new to our auctions, but he's been around for a little while. This piece is called Panorama. Um, I I actually named this one, um, but this is actually. Justin eight? said 21. Hey, real quick. Sorry, Justin. It is 27. Yeah. There's eight of them. They're it's only the... two inches wide, but there is eight of them. And yeah. it's 27 bucks. So if yep. you want this one, Justin, come up six bucks, my home skillet. Yeah, sorry. It's the font. Sevens do kind of look like ones. I don't I don't blame him for getting confused. It's the font. Yeah. But... And also, Ganji the Wise on Instagram. You got oh, yeah. 44 seconds left. Tell us more about it, Zach. Sorry about that. No, you're good. No, that was important information. Um, but yeah, there's eight. Uh, these these canvases are individually magnetic, and there's eight of them, each of which are two inches wide. So it's about 16 inches across, and um, each one creates this awesome uh, panoramic view, hence the name. Uh, $28, Justin said. So at this point, you guys only have 20 seconds to outbid. Oh, Carmen outbid that, Justin. No, Get it, Carmen? No, no Carmen didn't. did not. Uh, Justin is at 28 and having outbid himself and Carmen That's not how with only are. seven seconds. What? <laughs> five, four, 
Three, two, one. This one is sold to Justin Pritchard. Hey, Justin, just like every other week, you're going to own half the auction. We love you. Yeah. Next item up. So this one was actually a very recent submission by Alex. Um, this one, normally when he sends me stuff in, I was actually quite proud of this. Normally when he sends me stuff in, he has he has us name it yeah. and set a price. He did both this time. I was what? Very, I was very happy. Good job, Alex. Yeah. Also um, great to finally meet you in real life a few weeks ago and have you come through the gift shop grand opening and take a look yeah. at the live streaming studio. Really great to have you here, Alex. Yeah. I've known I've known that kid for years. He's good guy. Um, but this is an eight by ten standard canvas. This is not magnetic. Um, and we're starting off the bidding of at $17. This is Beautiful Darkness. Beautiful Darkness, and you have 46 seconds left and only $17 for a piece of original art painted on canvas. And if you guys have any idea what it costs to purchase canvas and paint, you know that the time and cost of the canvas and the paint is putting out. Oh, it's at a negative every week. And yeah. I think every artist following along at home knows that as well we do not do art or music for money we do art and music for love yep. and this piece definitely demonstrates that what a phenomenal sunset yeah i really like this piece a lot he sent that to me the other day and i was just like dang dang i know right keep it up alex we love it 17 dollars from carmen we held carmen you just, came in just at the one second mark that one is yours thank you so much oh jamie you've been killing it you do a beautiful job of supporting the artists, and we love how much you love Justin. It's a beautiful thing. Um, I'm kind of a bitter, less than a romantic person. That's a nice way to put it, isn't it, Zach? I'm less than romantic, but uh, the way that Jamie looks at Justin makes my heart happy. Okay. Oh, nice. Yeah, we got a bid from Key on this poor painting by India. This is an 8x10 piece. And just like the name suggests, that's the type of painting that this is. It's a you pour the paint and it does all that stuff. Um, Key has been purchasing items from India directly ever since some of our first auctions yeah. with India's resin art, uh, and has been supporting her her jewelry every time we see her, which is fantastic. So India, uh, she's not only buying your art, she's wearing your art and telling other people to buy your art and supporting your social media. And that is how we do it, you guys. Uh, as Key said, she is so talented. India says there's a lot of detail in here, metallic paint. Uh, it's probably going home with Key here in 50 seconds, unless you guys decide to bid more than $22. Yep, so actually more than $25. Oh, more than $25. Thanks, Key. Killing it. $25. Give India some love over on her Instagram and her Facebook page. She ships lightning fast. She's a huge supporter of everything we do at Spicoli's yes. and all live music. She does really good work. She does. Um, I always bring up her concert photography, you guys, and that's not because... India, um, that's not true. You are totally are. You are worthy. Uh, Bill and Ted's excellent yeah. adventure. Um, exactly. You hush. You are worthy. I always bring up the concert photography. You got 11 seconds to bid on this item because we miss those concerts, don't we, guys? Yes. Everybody following along at home, we miss live music so badly with a big crowd up front and somebody shoving their elbow directly in India's ribs as she's pushing for the <laughs> stairs to get that phenomenal shot. Right, India? You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Everything's selling. We're moving on to the next item. All right. So let's go ahead and jump on out. We are nearing the end. We only have a hand, a small handful of pieces left. Um, these next three pieces are by our friend Amber Arian, who is a 404 band wife. Yay! Um, and, and you guys are following along at home listening to 404, and you're definitely going to bid on these items. We're trying to speed up because it is 702. So if you guys can multitask, we expect you to log into Rock 108 right now and listen to noise from the garage. Uh, and I guess you can have music in both ears because it's stereo sound, folks. Let's yeah. do it. But this is a panda, um, <laughs> as you can see. This is a watercolor painting. So um, the, f the, the fact that it just exists like this is amazing because watercolor, if you're, well, 
Chris, I think you know as well as I do, do. watercolor is really hard to work with. It, it's very unforgiving. Yes. Anything that you put on the paper staying on the paper. And when you're dealing with black and white, and the white space is so, so important, it, there's no room for error. No, there's not. There's not. Um, Only 40 seconds left on this item. Aaron, I did not know you were Todd's sister. How cool is that? You mean Amber? Yeah, Amber. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> hey, Amber, I didn't know you were Todd's sister. Hey, Todd, I don't know if you're following along at home, but your sister's super, super talented. Um, I didn't use the color white at all. All the white you see is from the paper. Oh, dang. That's yeah, cool. right, guys? You should bid on this item. You've got about 18 seconds left. It is $25. Definitely give her some love over on her Facebook page. Uh, if you like what she is doing, make sure you share her Facebook page with your friends as well. Mm-hmm. Six seconds left. Justin says, this piece is genuine. Watercolor is no joke. No, it Justin is not. does not mess with the watercolor is what I'm guessing. No. We are going to move on. We'll bring Panda back next week. Tell your friends all about Panda. Um, so this is actually, this is a new piece uh, by Amber. This, song, this, this one is called Smokin' Universe. Um, and this is an 8x10 uh, piece. And we're, this is... Uh, we're starting off with uh, the bidding at $42 uh, and as you can see there is a, actually a pretty good amount of detail within this I love the rainbow in the hair is I love the rainbow the universe in the hair there's a whole universe going on in the hair yeah. there's there's the rainbow there's the Milky Way there's some constellations there's a comet um, has anybody caught the comet by the way it's going on till the 23rd every night I go out at sunset and I try to catch this comet I don't go outside very okay. often okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> my introvert friends, friends stay in the house um, I've been trying to catch this comet guys it's uh, every night about sunset uh, a couple of my friends caught it got some pictures I haven't saw it yet you can catch a comet and keep it forever if you buy this painting for only $42 in the hair it is a rad painting India it certainly is Amber, you are super, super yeah. talented. Uh, the hand study is gorgeous. I can't wait to send a picture of this to um, my son, uh, Easton. He always does hand studies, and the perspective of these hands is, is per- this hand is perfect. Right? It's, I don't. I couldn't do it. No, I. I know that. Granted, I I don't draw <laughs> on principle, so. <laughs> I also don't know if I draw. I don't draw well. Yeah. I draw like I sing, which is bad enough that people tell me to stop doing it. Oh, jeez. I know, right? That's what I got Zach here for, because he could sing. Okay, next item up. Okay, okay, guys. Okay, so this piece is interesting only because it's not one thing. Um, we have a, a pack. Of, you can get. You can buy a pack of five cards that have been painted um, these are actually painted, like they're paintings, but they're like like greeting cards or or whatever. And it says you you, know, you are limitless. Um, these are five by sevens, and uh, these come in a pack of five. They come with envelopes too, so you don't have to you know go to the store and, and buy any. Um, but we're starting off the bidding of this pack of five at seventeen dollars. These are hand painted, um, each individually, and uh, they're really cool. Actually, I don't even do greeting cards anymore, but I buy these. I think that we should do more greeting cards for a couple of reasons. One, we can support the U.S. Postal Service. Yes. For those following along at home, I think we all know that we need to mail some more stuff, and this is a great way to do it. Two, everyone we know and love is under uh, difficult circumstances, and they are isolated in ways that normally um, they would not be. Uh, we're not able to spend the time with our family that we used to. True. And this is a chance for you to spread some joy and some support and some inspiration to the people in your life who who you look up to, who you admire, who you know are struggling. And just getting a quick note from you on one of these note cards is going to make their day. And of course, because it is a piece of art, you know they're going to take that card and they're going to hang it up or they're going to put it on their mantle and they're going to look at it every day and be reminded that you love them. And that's a, that's a very powerful thing. Right. So, Are you taking that speech on tour? <laughs> Well, Zach, I'm going to buy these cards. I know that. Okay. So, <laughs> uh, hey, Amber, I am bidding on these cards. I can't comment because I'm using my computer. Actually, I think I can. Here, watch this. Uh, here we go. Okay, so I'm buying the cards. We're moving on to the final item. These are my cards now. <laughs> That's oh. my bid. Okay, thanks. 
<laughs> okay. Oh, Chris, you certainly make things interesting. Uh, Zach really does like working with me. You guys didn't know. Yeah. But, all right, so we're moving on to our last two pieces of the night. Um, so this is a new artist. Um, this is, so Caleb, who is generally a manager for Spicoli's. That's correct. Um, his wife, this is his wife's sister. Correct. Um, so his sister-in-law, basically. <laughs> um, I don't know why. Caleb's sister-in-law. Yeah. Any one of you guys following along at home know Caleb. Caleb has been absolutely essential to our survival since he started at Spicoli's. Yes. He joined our team just a couple of weeks before the, the big changeover, the month or so before the big changeover between Rob, Cody, and myself. He followed along through that entire changeover and was just super helpful through the whole thing. Quickly moved from a cook to the kitchen manager, which he was hired for, and then became the generally a manager of all things. This is his sister-in-law. This is a painting. It is hand-painted. It is an original. It is beautiful. It is sitting here in the gift shop right now. And you can take it home and hang it in your bathroom above your bathtub. Very Harry Potter-ish. Yeah, it is. It is. Um, and, I mean, I've always liked, like, mermaids and mermen and that whole, like, lore i guess you could yes, say yes me too and um so this this piece is really cool um it's got a nice realism to it yes um and so and i've seen this piece in in real life it's very impressive uh like the, the picture doesn't fully do it justice i don't think but it, it's very impressive and did we run out of time we ran out of time on this item um zach is correct the perspective is fantastic it's beautiful Hopefully we can hold it up on camera next week because we're moving on. Yep. And we're going to move on to our last piece of the day, um, night, whatever. Um, Zach trying to go to... No, I'm not. <laughs> but... Comments about lore in the commentary. We are moving on to the final item, right? Yep. The correct final item of the evening. Yes. I Here do, we go. I do not know if this is the actual title of this piece. I just kind of named it. Um, this is Wolf of Duality. Uh because there's two halves to the, the wolf. It reminded it reminded me of the whole adage about like there's two wolves inside you. There's one that's good and one that's evil, and whichever wins is the one you feed. Yes, that's that's exact like the number one thing that this came to mind when I saw this. Um, but uh, this is a 12 by 18 uh, inch piece on canvas, um, and we're starting the bidding off at fifty dollars. This piece is beautiful in person. My photo doesn't nearly give enough credit to the work. You can kind of see the mountain ridge coming out of the back of the wolf on the left, um, and then kind of the sky coming out on the right. It's just a beautiful, beautiful piece. You can see and feel the quality of the paint. Um, just, yes, it does look like a back of a mountain ridge. And uh, we got a $25 bid. Nope, that would be on something different. Um, this one is $50. It is by Caleb's sister-in-law, Angie's sister. Uh, this si sister is a professional uh, artist, and that's what she does for a living. She sells her art on Etsy uh, and other online sources, just like um, India, actually. So we really support these artists who are struggling in these times when you just can't get out to these art fests where people can see these in real life. Only 17 seconds left, and our final item of the night, $50 on Wolf of Duality. Next week, we will be bringing you some of the other items from the gift shop. I want to throw in some band merch and mix it up a little bit and let you guys see what we got. All right. But until then, we hope that y'all are already tuning in to Rock 108's Noise from the Garage because we're about to here in just a couple minutes. Um, but uh, if you have any feedback for us, uh, whether it's a, whether you think we're doing great, whether you think that we're not doing so hot on something, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and uh, just go ahead and send any feedback that you have to either our Facebook page or to our email, uh, both of which that you can find here in um, on your screen. Uh, where um, you know, somebody's usually around, uh, feel free to, to hit us up. But until then, we hope that y'all have a great week. And have thanks, a great week. And thanks for tuning in. See you next week. Goodbye.